Hi everyone. Well today my friends have let me loose in their garden. <laughs> That's a bit worrying isn't it? And the reason why is because they got this fantastic pond and I'm going to do some, hopefully, capture some damselflies, dragonflies or anything else. And they got some wonderful flowers here and plants so I'll probably take a few, few pictures of them as well. Um, I hope it's going to be a good afternoon. You just don't know with this sort of photography. It can be hit or miss. But uh, we'll give it a go and see what happens. beautiful dragonfly here it's a blue darter blue darters are chunky little dragonflies and they're so quick off the mark so I'll have to be really quiet to capture this one so um, let's give it a go I'd like to give you a couple of tips on dragonfly uh, photography. I'm not an expert on dragonfly photography and I'm not an expert on dragonflies. But one thing I found about dragonfly photography is the fact that if you try to chase them around and try to capture them, the likelihood of that is a failure all the way through. So um, the best thing to do is when you turn up to a, uh, a pond, whether it's a private pond or a public pond, is just to observe um, watch the dragonflies because one it's great fun watching them but secondly the most important thing about about them is they fly around and then they land when you see them land you nine out of ten they will keep landing on that same spot whether it's a leaf a stick or, or a reed of some sort and so then you can pre-focus on that spot and I normally you know my setting will be about 1600 ISO um, and f8 so it gives me a really good fast shutter speed even at that, that um, f-stop and and the reason why I use that f-stop is because it gives that depth of field if you have it too shallow you don't capture much of the dragonfly so if you if you pre-focus on that stick you can allow yourself with the f8 of the depth of field so where the wings come forward and the wings go backwards so you can generally get most of it in um, looking sharp and um, so that's the tip I would give you is just to pre-focus on that stick and, and use settings of similar to that or whatever settings you want to use so I use those settings so when he takes off from that spot he flies around and because you already pre-focus I normally have it on live view pre-focus and then all I need to do is keep me remote control in my hand I normally put the settings on continuous shooting he goes off you just follow him around and you know he's going to generally come back to that spot so as he's coming up to that spot fire off a few shots and you could and I've done it capture <coughs> in flight and um, and sometimes those wings are slightly blurred but the body's sharp and it makes a really good photo so if you go out give it a go it's great fun and challenging cheers there's this beautiful plant here called an astilbe and um, i just love the light shining on the floor itself there's some fantastic flowers in this garden and you know as much as I love the dragonflies I love taking pictures of flowers as, as well um, and I know it's in a still be because um, my wife's a garden designer and she's taught me a few things about plants 
so uh, I'm going to try to capture that one and um, maybe a few others in the garden as well while I'm taking a break from taking dragonfly uh, images. Well, it's been a great day. The dragonflies have been really busy. And um, did I get any good shots? I'll let you be the judge of that. But um, I did capture one in flight, but unfortunately he came just slightly behind on the side. So he was out of focus. But I'm gonna put, put that one on just to show you what I was talking about earlier, about, you know, where he, they keep coming back to that same perch. So, if you haven't subscribed please do and uh, if you like the video put a put a like up and if you want to put a comment just write a little comment and push that notification bell for my next video when it's up and running okay cheers for watching and thanks once again cheers for now bye Hopefully capture this one. It's a a blue darter. 